Two people have died in a crash on the east side of Sioux Falls this morning. What investigators believe may have led to the crash. Plus, making strides in the fight against cancer. How students at the Sioux Falls Middle School showed support for their teacher battling breast cancer. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Mother's Day. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. Sioux Falls police are investigating an overnight crash that killed two people on the city's east side. Two vehicles crashed just before midnight at East Arrowhead Parkway and Highline Avenue by Dolly Farm Village. Police say the two people who died were in the same vehicle. Multiple passengers from both vehicles were taken to the hospital with severe injuries. Investigators say spear, speed appears to be a factor in the crash. The area was closed to traffic well into the morning as authorities worked the scene. Stay with Kelloland News and Kelloland.com for updates on this developing story. The Sioux Falls police have entered a new phase of law enforcement in the city. Police are now operating out of their new report to work station located on West 57th Street. Being based out of this substation allows officers to respond more quickly to a high volume of calls in the southwest part of town. The facility also means officers no longer have to take time from their patrols driving to and from the law enforcement center downtown. We have your first look inside the report to work station in tonight's Eye on Kelloland. Find out how it could be just the first of more remote stations needed for a growing city tonight at 10. Race Against Cancer was a virtual event this year because of the pandemic, but some people wanted to come together for the event at Patrick Henry Middle School in Sioux Falls. That's because Tricia Jacobson, a teacher at the school, is currently fighting her own battle with breast cancer. So her friends, family, co-workers, and students showed up to support her by walking around the track. I think here at Patrick Henry, the concept of no one fights alone goes beyond cancer. It goes with you could be suffering a death in the family or maybe a divorce or any type of sickness, a bullying situation. And we just want everyone to know that while you're under our roof, we're family and no one's in this alone. Jacobson just recently finished her last round of chemo and will soon undergo her first of three surgeries. A 100-year-old hero celebrated his milestone birthday with family in Sioux Falls on Saturday. The party took place in the Tuthill Park neighborhood for World War II veteran Tom Weber. We first introduced you to Tom last year when he celebrated his socially distant 99th birthday. But yesterday, he was able to celebrate his centennial with family, hugs, cake, and of course, a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tom. Happy birthday to you. Weber served in the Navy during World War II. Let's get a first look at the Mother's Day forecast now with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. On this Mother's Day Sunday, we are off to a gray start in many areas, but the sun is trying to peek through on occasion. We head over to Falls Park, where at least it's not raining this morning there. 44 with a north wind at 9 miles per hour. Should be a decent morning to go for a stroll with mom in eastern portions of Kelloland, but it is a little chilly out there. Wind chill has been in the mid to low 30s at times. 41 in Mitchell right now, 39 toward Chamberlain, 41 also as you head up toward Aberdeen, 43 Sisseton, Watertown, 39, 38 toward Pier, 37 Rapid City with a breeze generally on the lighter side of things. It's a nine mile per hour breeze, like I said, in Sioux Falls as well as in Mitchell, but more often than not, a five to 15 miles per hour, far more tolerable than what we had yesterday. There is, however, still a little bit of rain out there. It's extending from Pier to Eagle Butte into Mulbridge as well, but these are generally light showers. That being said, some scattered showers may still pop up as we head later into the morning and into the afternoon, but chances increase the further west you go. Still not as much of a washout as yesterday. We'll talk about the rest of your seven day forecast, including when we finally get a nice warm up on the way coming up in just a little bit. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, Houston Speedway begins a busy season of racing on the dirt track in Brandon. The Mother's Day opener features Rosenbauer America Night. Gates open at four o'clock. Races start at 730. 
The first 200 mothers through the main gate receive a free carnation. Tickets are $18, $10 for students, and free for children 12 and under. Good Earth State Park, southeast of Sioux Falls, kicks off its summer concert series. A Native American drum group will perform at 4 o'clock. You can purchase food at the Waticha Bowl Food Truck. The concert is free, but a park entrance license is required. The University of Sioux Falls choirs perform an outdoor lawn chair concert on campus. The choirs will sing popular selection from Les Miserables, Phantom of the Opera, and Pirates of Penzance starting at 4 o'clock. There will also be an awards ceremony to celebrate the accomplishments of USF students this past year. Mother's Day movies playing at the State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls include The Court Jester, rated G, plus E.T. the Extraterrestrial, and Terms of Endearment, both rated PG. New movie releases playing at a theater near you include Here Today, rated PG-13, and Wrath of Man, rated R. Adam? Well, for the day today, like I said, we're going to have to dodge a few raindrops now and again, but compared to Saturday, we do have improvement in place, especially on the thermometer. Yesterday, we couldn't even hit 50 in Sioux Falls. I think we do get above that as we head through the afternoon, but more often than not, we are going to be dealing with cloud cover with the occasional peak of sunshine in place. Like I said, a little bit of rain out there this morning, generally toward Pier, Eagle Butte, and Mulbridge, with a few showers trying to come up in the Huron area now, but these are going to remain light and mainly scattered, especially as we head later into the afternoon with our little disturbance making its way through and then getting on out of here by the later part of the day. Any rain we get is going to be a good thing. Even the surplus in the Watertown area is no more as we are to some degree in a deficit across basically the entirety of Kelloland beyond a few small bubbles between Watertown and Aberdeen and in the hills west of Rapid City. So any rain we get is going to be a good thing, however sparse it may be. Now as we go through future cast, you notice we do have the chance for some scattered showers in western parts of Kelloland. We may even hear a rumble of thunder or two along the way. To the east, scattered showers, mainly of the light rain variety in place before we get ready for a great start to the work and school week on Monday. Much of the area getting in on sunshine, except for southwestern Kelowin. You guys could see a little more cloud cover and the chance for some rain there. And even into Tuesday as well, scattered showers not out of the question to the southwest, while the rest of the area is mainly dry and at least on the partly sunny, if not mostly sunny side of things. We do also have the chance for a little bit of help going into the middle of the week. Notice those numbers trying to climb up a little bit more West River where we have those extreme drought conditions in place. So anytime we do get that, that's going to be a good sign there. Unfortunately, East River, not so much, but we did see a little more rain on Saturday to the east, so a, a chance to dry out and let the ground kind of catch up. It's not necessarily a bad thing there. It's all about balance as we go through the extended forecast, and we try to get that more often than not. 50s East River, even near 60 east of I-29, but to the west, a better chance for some rain and even a rumble of thunder as temperatures struggle to get much above the low 50s. Lows tonight in the upper 20s to mid 30s as we gradually clear out. Now, if we get those clearer skies to set up shop sooner, then we're able to cool off a little bit more and we increase the risk for frost. So if you have gotten a head start on planting, you will want to keep an eye on the thermometer as we head through the night. Your seven day forecast starts off dry after Mother's Day's scattered shower chance. But then we get ready for two things. One, a nice warm up back into the 70s by next weekend. And two, a return of some rain as we head toward the end of the extended outlook, both of which are welcome sights. Have a great day and a happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there in Kelloland. For more on local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.